Hi, I'm Shelly Geigel with JNS Hobbies and Crafts, and I made this album for a swap with a friend, uh, Phyllis, and um, I wanted to just share with you the album itself. There is no tutorial for this and you might give you some ideas. The paper I used was the Julie Nutting and I used two uh, of the 12 by 12 paper packs and a 6 by 6 um, paper pad. Now it only comes with on the 12 by 12 there's only 14 sheets in a pack so I did have to get two of the 12 by 12 and then the 6 by 6 was for the additional photo mats or what I worked with. So I was just going to give you an overview of some handmade flowers and packaged flowers. And here where the closure is, is I just did some embellishments on there. This is also made with the white 3D flip and fold album um, by Heartfelt Creations, so I used that. And I did like a little folder. The trims I used throughout this were the Martha Stewart Deep Edge Punch and their ha and a uh, half inch punch, and I used a variety. This page I left alone so she can plant a nice big picture there, and here we have a couple foldouts. Some more pockets. And here is one large, and you can just slip them in. It's kind of like a belly band, so she can get larger photos in there. And this is a flip. And this is a pocket up here. more mats. And this is just a pocket. Well, my phone is going off in the background on vibrate. And then another little pocket right here. Here we have a nice size pocket and another one right up here. I made a little folder. over here. Uh, this is actually a folding fold out. And then here what I did was some pitcher mats and I did something a little bit different. On this pitcher mat back here there's actually a band so that she can actually store smaller ones all together. And I, well, I put a couple in there. and a side pocket and I made a large folder here for her. I'm going to use some Prima embellishments as well. And this is one of the Petalute uh, DIY do-it-yourself paintable butterfly packs I used. And the final page here. Nice size pocket and also I left this so that if she wanted to slip something back behind there she could.
And this page I thought came out really pretty. This is actually a pocket up here, but it does flip up, as you can see. There is a bit, there is a small lacy pocket right here, and this flips down, additional. And then we have a pocket right there. I hope that this has given you some ideas if you are going to be using this paper. Uh, it was so easy to use. It just fell all together for me. Um, I think I, I had this done within two days, three days. So anyway, thanks for watching.